Hello everyone, welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Now let's start Kyoko's side quest. Just so you know if you're playing the PS4 version, this is for DLC only cases. Which actually is no longer available on the on their store, sadly, at the moment of this recording. Ah uh, yes, a new case has just been submitted to the office from a Digimon. I'll like you to take it. This case is a little tricky. It needs to be taken care of by a human. I'm too much of a Digimon at heart, and so I have decided you should take care of it. You may choose to begin whenever you like. As always, check the whiteboard, and then I'll have the client come over for a meeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, this DLC is is within the complete edition, so you don't have to do the DLC stuff to this one. But let's get this one started. Terriamon's exclusive scoop. Hello, Terriamon. Ah, you must be the detective in charge. When the interdimensional wall broke down, I was sent from the digital world to this one. Right now, there are Digimon in this world that are afraid. Don't know where they are and think of humans as their enemies i would rather not see humans as in my enemy i still like to think there is a way humans and digimon can coexist peacefully but don't know what to do so that's when i heard you guys and how you have solved many problems for digimon so i would like to explain examine you in detail. Please show me all the good that humanity has to offer. Mm hmm. That's our duty. Okay, so it doesn't matter for this one. Suppose I got no choice. Okay. Examine me in detail. <laughs> yeah, we are going to eat together, sleep together, <gasps> going to be together for all the time. It's going to be great. I already have a terrier on. I had one. That's now a Magna Gargamon. Tokim, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I know Sonnen, but there's another case I'd like you to take. It seems someone run out of a, on a bill at the restaurant in Shibuya. The restaurant staff is asking for help tracking down the Predator. Oh, okay, that sounds like real police and detective work. It's been a while since we've had a case fit for a detective. Please handle this one as well. Yeah, that's true. We haven't had one. Ah, you're the detective, aren't you? Please write this way. I sent in the request. I worked in the caf I work in the cafe, please. I need your help tracking down and arresting this criminal who ran out out paying. Yeah, you should really pay for what you eat. Earlier today, at around two PM, a diner took up and left without paying for their meal. I was here in the cafe with my husband. As usual, I was dealing with the customers and my husband was cooking. Then, I think it was about five minutes to two. I went out the back door to go and phone my friend. And I left my husband in charge of the cafe. While I was on the phone... I heard a voice cry from inside the cafe. It's a dine and dash. So I immediately hung up and went back to the cafe. But when I got inside, my husband wasn't there. He ran out of the cafe after the criminal. But before I went out to, uh, for the phone call, there had been more than 20 customers in the cafe. But when I heard the shout, he came back in. Four of the customers had gone. Had gone. Okay, thought my husband had gone after the criminal. I entrusted the cafe to a regular I knew and went out looking for the missing customers. Wow, were you able to find the four missing customers in such a short amount of time? Honestly, I just got lucky. The dine and dash occurred about five minutes after I went out the back to make the phone call. These customers must have left during that time. I bet they're all annoyed to have to be here to prove their innocency. I'm good with faces. It's a sort of talent of mine. 
they even admit that they were all in the cafe. So I talked to each of them and listened to their stories, but I couldn't work out who it was. I'm sure one of them must be the criminal, but... So please, go and ask them, each of them, about this and catch the criminal. Uh, where's your husband by this chance? Surely, the only one who is lying would be the criminal. The other three have no reason to lie. Please investigate the crime. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have something on the G line. Okay. Now we have our suspects. We basically want to... Let's go to talk to all the suspects before we talk to the cafe to get us a idea of who this one really is. There was another person named Yatusha uh, who left about the same time as I did. No one behind the till. So I didn't know where to leave my money. But she left it by the register. So I did too. Then I follow her out of the cafe. I also heard someone shout, about the dining dash, but I don't know who. It sounded like a small a man voice. One man shouting. Okay. I was the one who yelled, it's a dining dash. The cafe owner, owner man who heard me went running after the criminal. I was curious about the dining dash here. So after I went straight up to the counter, placed the money there and then left. I could only see the criminal from behind. It was a woman. I tried to run after her, too. But I lost sight of both of the waiter and the criminal. Hmm. This one says the man. This one says the woman. Okay, interesting. Nashia, who is not the criminal. She's a, a beautiful woman. I fell in love with her as soon as I saw her. And, and I spent my entire lunch eating cheap spicy curry staring at her but after someone shouted out it's a dine and dash Nasho left the cafe the criminal obviously ran out of the cafe before the shout okay the dine and dash happened at 2 p.m. exactly right at that time I had almost finished and had to got up to go to the restroom I returned and heard it's a dine and dash and there was a commotion in the cafe. It had nothing to do with me, so I put my money down and left. Yeah, the shouting voice was definitely the waiter. Okay, that's kind of confusing. But anyway, let's talk to our waiter, cafe waitress. How is it going? Did you know who the criminal is? Yes, I do. Yeah, please tell me who it is. Who oh, is who? We want to say it is Ishikara. Huh? Why me? I knew it. It's one. It's who I thought it was too, Tamukim. You knew who it was him too. What? I never did any such thing. If you think I'm the criminal, let's hear your explanation. Well, let's see. Out of the four customers, two of their stories most def definitely didn't match. Isn't that right, Mukim? He want to. Yeah, we want to use this one. Was the man who shouted the waiter or Ichikara? Yes, well done. Just what I expected from you, Mukim. Among the four people, there is conflicting testimony. Who sh actually shouted? It's a dine and dash. Was it the waiter or Ichikara? In that case. You would know your husband's voice well, as you hear him all the time, right? I'm sorry, I just heard a loud voice cry out suddenly. I don't re remember if it was my husband's or not. Oh, I see. In any case, isn't it strange that Ishika said he was the one who shouted out, whereas Yucha claimed it was the waiter? So, that must mean one of them is lying, which... Means one of them is probably the criminal, right? Wait, but then why are you as accusing me and not that you Yachua moment? Well, um, that's Tamukim. Do you know? 
Noshiro and Senpai's testimony must be correct. Yeah, that's right, Tomokim. See, I'm really sorry, something. So basically, we should trust in Nishima and Senpai's testimony, right? Yes, according to Nishio, there was only one, a shout. So it could have been Ishikara and the waiter. According to Senpai, Nishio left the cafe, right? After the dine and dash happened, and Nishio and Yashia left the cafe at almost the same time. So essentially, there is no one who can back up Ishikawa's story. Yashishia alibi is backed up by Yushino and Senpai, and they are not the criminals, so we can believe them. That means Yushia uh, it was, it can't be the criminal. The criminal uh, said the opposite of what Yushia said. Yushia told us the waiter shouted, but the one who said he himself shouted out was the criminal Ishikara. I don't... Don't talk to me with such nonsense. I definitely the one who shot it out. I called out to the other customers in the shop to warn them about what jerk, the stupid jerk was doing. I told you I ran out after the criminal. Why are you blaming me? You should be thanking me. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, oh dear. I guess that's her husband. I'm sorry. I can't. I couldn't catch the criminal. The criminal is here. Is this, is this the guy? You. You're the one who dined in Dash. Um. <laughs> now we have a witness. Ah, Mr. Policeman, who's randomly here. This guy here is the one who ran out on the check. This young man ran out on the check in your restaurant? Right then. I'm. He's coming down to the station with me. Oh, that was simple. Case closed. Wow, Tomokim, you really are as good as they say. That was very simple of a case. But that's not the end of this case. We still have much to do in this little case. Right. Back to the office. I'm sure Kyoko will want to congratulate you on a job well done. You there. Hold it for a sec. You're the one who tracked this criminal down. Wow, that's amazing. Quite the feat indeed. Uh, thank you for your help in catching the Dine and Dasher. Uh, thank you, officer. Or whatever. I'm done with this. What? Huh? Hehe, <laughs> you're such a bum of chumps. <laughs> the office, this guy is not the an officer. Huh? What is this? Great job working that out. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Don't you get it yet? That was not a police officer. How about now? I'm not a real cop. <laughs> oh, you should see your faces. We are members of a much talk about Shibuya delinquent gang. Members of the delight, love the thrill. Oh, wait a second. A delight gang. It was a delight. My bad. Members of delight, love the thrill of getting away with crimes again and again. We're possible to catch. But that's, you mean you actually enjoy running out on checks at restaurants? Doing bad stuff and deceiving everyone? Tip of the iceberg, idiot. Do you really think that would be enough to satisfy us? You're embarrassing us, and you're going to pay for that. We will have our revenge. First, I'm going to spread a rumor about that you couldn't catch the guy who did the dine and dash. Best detective around? I don't think so. But such a roundabout kind of revenge wouldn't be enough for us. Catch me if you can. If you can't, we're going to keep doing that stuff. Yeah. He got away. Where do you think those guys are going? I heard something. A gang of thugs who always cause trouble around this neighborhood hang out in, at the Shibuya subway station. But don't think. Uh, don't even think about going after them. Too dangerous. Those g g guys are criminals, so <laughs> leave this to the police. Here is your fee. Please don't be shy. You did a great job tracking down the criminal. Okay. That way we get for having all three of the questions for solving who did it correct. We get different things depending on all our choices and all if they were correct or not. Hmm. 
I just, I'm a little worried about what that guy said before about revenge. I know what it is. Revenge is when someone does something bad to you, so you do something bad back to them in return, right? Why would he say such a thing? It wasn't our fault he got arrested. It wasn't our, I mean, it was his own fault for doing all those bad things. Um, he was not arrested. It was a guy pretending to be a cop that arrested him, though he did not get arrested. Nothing good ever comes from getting back at someone. Anyway, sorry, should we go after those guys? Okay, let's do it. We're off to the Shibuya subway station. Mm-hmm. Luckily, we get time to the subway station right away. Those guys are trying to use Digimon for evil purposes. Uh, why were they evil using evil using Digimon? We're probably abusing them all the time. We never use humans for anything. I never want to have that kind of relationship with a human. It's like Terrymon say, pet Terrymon on the head. Let's get over there and show them those guys. Pet them on the head. <laughs> Thanks, Mookum. <laughs> I'm calmed down a little bit now. I wonder if those guys are in here. Let's go. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's get to the end of this dungeon. Because that's where they will be for where we are at. So let's get over there. We are actually going to use this to eliminate secure enemies so we can get there a lot quicker. So let's get going over here. <laughs> Another Ethereum on a following us again. Want to go down here, I think. I haven't done this in a while, so it might take me a while to get to where we need to go. I don't think it's this way. I actually be this way, because I think that was where we fought against Etamon, actually. See, go down this way, I think. Go up this way. Then I think. Oh, not this way. You want to go down this way? And then this way. This is a very confusing subway station, I notice. See this way. Yeah, this is the party path I remember now. So let's go down here. And then go down this way. And we should find um, where they are located, which is down here. There they are. Well done. You've managed to find us. To be honest, you guys just came here to be defeated by us. <gasps> but well done anyway. You guys, uh, guys use Digimon, don't you? Well, we happen to be hackers too, so let's go. We are the better Digimon masters, as you will see. Here, I brought this along with me. Use it to fight this idiot. Huh? What? A Grand Locomon, huh? Yeah, this is our, gonna be our opponent, Grand Locomon. For this DLC case. I like that entrance anyway by Grand Locomon. Grand Locomon! This is a Digimon I found around here recently. After we had a little chat order to with him, he became a nice obedient little slave. The pride of delight has been insulted. Avenge me, little Digimon. Put the hunt on the hurt on them. Mm-hmm. Let's fight against Locomon. 
This will be a tough fight since Lokomon is a mega level Digimon. Uh, let's see. First, we're going to actually change our party so we can have viruses in our party. And put this one back in our party. Okay. This should give us an advantage, I think. Now, of course, I did nothing. That's from a rookie. Destruction crush, huh? Okay, let's try this attack. Yeah. Mm, did not do that much. Destroy rush. That did some amount of damage. And then let's use his attack. Yeah. Huh, that's simple. Uh, just thanks to Titanmon's piercing move, we got through that easily. Okay, so we have to get rid of an attack from Yoru. Uh, let's see. Let's take that one away. Mm -hmm. Um, now it's electrifying, I guess. <laughs> oh dear, it's collapsing. I guess that's the end of Grand Lokomon. Oh, Grand Lokomon. Ah, please don't kill me. What? But that that doesn't make any sense. How could that Digimon be defeated so easily? Never. I'll never forgive you. Digimon are not tools for to use. We are we're flung into this world we don't know. Every day we struggle with terror and fear. But uh, there are Digimon being terrorized by humans. But there are also Digimon who believe can be friendship between humans and Digimon. That Grand Locomon probably believe that. Humans are humans. Or humans are Terriamon. That's enough. Not all humans are like that. I'm your friend, Terriamon. Um, Tomukim? True, you're not like that, Tomukim. You really helped any human who is in trouble. And even Digimon like me as well. We haven't spent much time together, but even so, I know. You are kind and warm-hearted, Tomukim. Like Tomukim said, give yourself up to the police. Reflect on what you've done and set it right. Even people like you can turn things around. So I'm going to try to trust in you. Yes, I will leave immediately. I don't think they'll give up to the police. Well, I guess that's... This has turned out well then, won't you say? But well, that's the... Um, is that the end of this case? Well, Tomukim, I think that about does it for my case. You know, the reason I picked you wasn't just because you're a capable detective. I wanted to make friends with the humans, but I myself was afraid of them. So I asked you guys because you have a good reputation among Digimon. Humans like those guys and I will never understand each other. Some part of me will always be afraid and never want to be around them. But I, when I see you, I understand whether it's a Digimon or a human. You have a way of looking at someone and gain their trust. So I would like to be able to look people in the face and be honest, like you. I like to be able to make friends without being afraid. More than that, I want you to go out and tell the Digimon of the world that there are humans like you, that they don't need to be afraid. And finally, I would like to ask you something, Tomukim. My hand may be small, but pinky promise. Promise me, however hard it may be, you will never give up. You will create the friendships between Digimon and humans and do your very best. It's a promise. <laughs> yeah. If she actually have an animation for that. Well, anyway, it was really awesome how you dealt with that case, Tomokim. Thanks. Okay, I'm off then. See you later. Goodbye. Okay, that's the end of that case and all. 
Now, let's hand this cow. Let's see what's on that GG line. First and all, and then we will hand in the case. Okay, let's get in the case. Okay. <gasps> Looks like things went well like, like the client hoped. You and Terry are both really grown up and a lot, I feel like. Anyway, that will be it for this video. So, I'll be seeing you next time when we move on with the cases we have left. I plan to do two more and then we'll move on with the story. So, see you next time. Bye.